Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. Usually on Sundays I do the WWW, the weekly wax wrap up, but that's not happening this Sunday because I had such a busy week this week. I hardly spent any time at home and so I hardly burned any candles and so I only finished up like one candle. That would make for a pretty boring weekly wax wrap up, but I have something instead for you that I think is even better. It is a Goose Creek candle haul. So here's my PSA to all the Canadians out there. Goose Creek started delivering to Canada fairly recently. I mean, I think that I asked them about a year, a year and a half ago about international shipping and it was not a thing. They didn't deliver up to Canada at all. I need to give a shout out to Michelle. She's from Crazy for Candles and Michelle's a fellow Canadian. She let me know recently that Goose Creek is now delivering to Canada. This is a really big deal for us, you guys. I mean, if only Yankee and Homeworks would follow suit. So I have already placed two orders. I, I'd say that Goose Creek candles are very comparable to Bath & Body Works candles. Um, quality, price, fragrance. I'd say the thing that differentiates them the most is the types of selection that they have. Um, Bath & Body Works in previous years has really steered away from giving us really great, big, um, gourmand, sweet treat type of collections lately. Um, it almost feels to me like Bath & Body Works are hiding a lot of their gourmand scents or trying to like make them more exclusive. You know, there's like the ice cream candle drop, which we didn't even get up here in Canada. And then they did like a root beer float and a bubble gum candle drop. Like it's always something, you know? And then they release like a banana pudding cake candle and call it mainstream bakery. So for gourmand lovers and for candy candle lovers, this is really good news because they offer quite a few things that Bath & Body Works just doesn't seem to be doing anymore. And so I picked up six candles. Uh, we've got a problem here, people. Like, <laughs> I've already placed two pretty big orders. My first haul here is six candles. They had a sale going on, six candles for 60 bucks. Um, it was like a flash sale. When all was said and done with like the shipping fees and the import fees, I ended up paying $82 Canadian for six candles. They made it pretty easy on the website. They do the currency exchange and everything for you right there. I ordered these candles on a Friday and they showed up on the next Friday. So it only took them seven days to get to me, which I would like to point out is faster than it takes for a Bath & Body Works order to get to me. Just saying. Anyways, yeah, so I ended up paying 82 for six candles. So that works out to 1360 per candle. So it's pretty on sale with what you're gonna pay for a Bath & Body Works candle up here during a sale. Um, these are all soy wax blends with three wicks. I mean, it's a super, super similar formula to what Bath & Body Works does. It's even 14.5 ounces, just like Bath & Body Works. Um, I really hauled two very different types of candles. I hauled some of this new sort of summer botanical collection. I got three of these. And then they also have like a candy shop collection. And I got three of these as well. So let's like start off with the candy collection. I mean, this haul really goes to show just how all over the place my tastes are when it comes to fragrance. We've got pink bubblegum. Um, I think that this is better than the bubblegum candle that Bath & Body Works just released. That candle is pretty faint smelling. I haven't burned it yet, 
but on cold, I am preferring this one already. They're doing a really cool iridescent wraparound label. This is not exactly my style, but I mean, if you're gonna be putting out candles like pink bubble gum and marshmallow cream gelato, this is the kind of aesthetic that you're probably going for, right? So pink bubble gum, we've got pink bubble gum, powdered sugar, and vanilla made with natural and essential oils. Mmm, I like this a lot. The little blurb on the website says what it smells like. Delight in the nostalgic aroma of sugary pink bubble gum! Exclamation point. This smells a lot stronger and a lot more authentic than the Bath & Body Works pink gumball candle does. I mean, it really smells like a what was it, hubba bubba, or was it a double, double hubba, bu double bubble? Was it double bubble? Sometimes it came with baseball cards when I was like really young. I mean, this really smells like a super classic pink bubble gum. And it smells like it's gonna be fairly strong too, so I'm looking forward to firing this one up. What else did I get? The marshmallow cream gelato. <laughs> uh, we have got marshmallows, vanilla cream, sweet sugar, and creamy gelato. The little blurb on the website says, sweet sugary marshmallows blend with creamy vanilla for a sweet summer treat. I like this one. There's a little bit, it's called marshmallow cream gelato, but... I'm picking up almost like a toastiness to it. Maybe that's just because of like, oftentimes you um, associate like a strong marshmallow note with like a toasty scent. Cause you think so often of toasted marshmallows, marshmallow fireside, etc. I really, really like this one. Ooh, pretty wax on this guy too. I didn't show you guys, but the pink bubble gum Sure enough, really cute pink wax. The pink bubble gum has sort of thick ropey wicks. And the marshmallow cream gelato looks like it's got the exact same wicks. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And for a marshmallow fragrance, it smells like it's going to perform. I hate to keep bringing up Bath & Body Works, but the last couple marshmallow candles that I've picked up from them did not have very much strength or throw, so give it to me, Goose Creek. You might be converting me over here. Okay, next up I grabbed Vanilla Fluff. You guys know by now if you've been following me for the last Gosh, I guess I've been doing YouTube for six or seven weeks now. You guys know I'm a sucker for anything vanilla. I mean, ever since I was a little boy, my favorite ice cream flavor was vanilla. All of the other kids wanted tiger, bubblegum ice cream, sherbet ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and I always just wanted plain old vanilla. So vanilla fluff, I'm assuming this is gonna kind of smell like like marshmallow vanilla fluff that you get like in a can or whatever. It is fluffy vanilla, marshmallows, soft caramel, and sugar. Really pretty colored wax on this one. Now, I can't tell what color this is. Little known fact about me, guys, I am quite colorblind. And so certain shades of certain colors get very confusing for me. Most commonly, I will mistake a dark blue color for purple or a light purple color for blue or a dark yellow for green or a light green for yellow. So yeah, I have issues with colors. I think this is pink. <laughs> When boyfriend's around, I'm always able to ask him, this is blue, right? He's not here right now. Now, this one is definitely the weakest of these three. But it's got a nice scent to it. There's definitely a little bit of a caramelly base. The little blurb on the website says, 
Fluffy marshmallows blend with vanilla bean cream, creating a warm and welcoming home. <laughs> to me, it smells more like you are in a candy shop. And it's good. I like it. I'm a little concerned it's not going to give me the strength and throw that I want. Kind of like Bath and Body Works. But I'm excited to try it out anyway. Vanilla fluff. All right, moving on to a completely different genre of candles. I was really intrigued by these black botanical um, collection that they released. Black lids on there. This one is sea salt, neroli, and vanilla. One of my favorite candles that Bath and Body Works has done recently was the sea salt and neroli. I don't think that we're ever going to get it back. So I'm also constantly on the search now for my next new favorite neroli candle. Oh, and by the way, I haven't smelled any of these yet. These are all like first sniff impressions. Um, there was a little blurb on the website about this one. Feel the warmth of the sun against the beach breeze with this sunny scent. With notes of sun-kissed neroli, warm coconut, and salted vanilla. So we've got bergamot, coconut, salt water, neroli, and vanilla. Thick, ropey wicks with... A nicely colored wax. I think it's green. I'm colorblind, my friends. Let's see here. Mm, it does remind me a little bit of the sea salt and neroli from Bath and Body Works, but I think I like it more because it's a little bit creamier and bassy. Oh my God, you guys, I love this one. I might need to be backing this one up. Holy sh... So I'm getting a sort of honeyed floral. Mmm, it's bittersweet. It's exotic. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's not as neroli forward as Sea Salt and Neroli from Bath & Body Works. It doesn't have the same top range to it that that candle had. This is a very mid-level to base level candle. Oh, I love it, you guys. This is really, really nice. This is my favorite out of the first four that I've smelled so far. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna have to get more of these. You guys, we have a problem here. I am going to be up on that Goose Creek website. Oh, I love it. This is really nice, folks. This is really, really nice. Wow. I'm excited about this one. This is my favorite so far. Okay, what else did I get here? Banana palm leaf. And black lid. Nice bright yellow wax. So far, all of these Goose Creek candles have had, I think, the exact same wicks, which kind of gives me pause. Okay, so um, shout out to Summer from Fragrance Junkie. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, go check her out and subscribe. She does tons of reviews of all different types of candles. And I just saw her talking about this candle. And she said in her video that it reminded her a lot of um, Under the Sun from Bath and Body Works. And I'm getting that too. But I think this is a little bit better. And I think that this is a little bit stronger. Under the Sun was incredibly weak, like a three for strength and throw. Okay, let me see. On the website, take a stroll through a lush green jungle as you smell sweet bananas, swaying palm leaves, and island coconut. I like it. I'm not, I'm not picking up on a ton of coconut. I'm getting more of the botanical palm palm tree-ness of it and a good heaping dose of banana sweet banana salted palm leaf sparkling bergamot and coconut 
I'm not getting like a bergamot. I'm not getting a zestiness to this at all. It's very mid to base. It does remind me quite a bit of Under the Sun, but I think it's a little bit stronger. Thank goodness. Yeah. Mm, banana palm leaf. Really nice. I'm pretty thrilled with all of these candles so far. All right, last but not least, I picked up Jungle Palm Trees. I like these. I like the way these candles look. Um, it seems like Goose Creek does an even worse job than Bath and Body Works when it comes to these exposed seams. It doesn't really bother me that much though. Um, I think that Summer said on her channel, Fragrance Junkie, I think that she said that you can sort of, they, even though these are black, they do still glow a little bit when you're burning them. Um, what do we have here? Palm leaves, dewy apple, bergamot, bamboo, and driftwood. The little blurb on the website says, jungle palm trees create a restful escape just beneath the summer sun. What intrigued me about this was that it's sounding like it's a very sort of botanical, jungly bamboo vibe, but with apples. Do you find apples in like jungles and rainforests? Do you find apple trees there? I don't know. Anyways, it was kind of felt like a unique scent of, set of scent notes to me. Um, I think, yeah, this is a light green wax. Mm, that's really nice. I just reviewed a candle that smelled a little bit like this. It reminds me a tiny bit of Blue Sky Breeze from Bath and Body Works, but more green, more lush, more botanical than that one. It's that apple note. It's the apple note combined with sort of a lush greenery botanical situation that I'm picking up on when it comes to the Blue Sky Breeze comparison. I like this quite a bit but it's my least favorite of these um, black botanicals. My, my favorite so far by far is this Neroli. Jeez Louise, that's delicious. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Yeah, my second favorite of these is the banana palm leaf. Yeah, and I like this one a lot, but it's not particularly, it's not particularly unique to me. It really, really smells very similar to candles that I've burned before. I wish that it let, I wish that it was leaning in to sort of a bamboo uh, green scent a little bit more than it is. It's, it, it smells, it smells a bit more like an apple candle than I want it to, but it's really nice. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, six Goose Creek candles, you guys. Oh, it's really great news that they are shipping to Canada now because I, <laughs> I'm i itching for, I'm itching for more vanilla, gourmand, and bakery fragrances from Bath & Body Works, and they just haven't been giving it to me good lately. And when they are giving it to me, it always seems like it's in kind of a like half-assed way and... I'm just kind of over it. When it comes to these candy shop candles, I think my first favorite is this pink bubblegum one. Yeah, and my second favorite is the marshmallow cream gelato. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. And my third favorite is this vanilla fluff. And that's mostly because this is a really nice vanilla fragrance, but it's just not as strong as I would like it to be, but still nice. I like it. I like it a lot. 
That's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you didn't miss the weekly wax wrap up too much, but I just didn't have that much for you. Next weekend, we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming with a candle haul on Saturday and a weekly wax wrap up on Sunday. And throughout this week, I'm gonna be dropping candle reviews for you as I always do. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you could leave a like, a comment, a subscription, that would really mean the world to me. If you're a Canadian just wanting to try out Goose Creek for the first time, talk to me, let me know what you're interested in. Let me know how your orders are going. Let's get really into it. And until next time, my friends, Let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks so much, folks. Bye-bye.